Yeah, we got with uh, a couple of friends of ours we had, and one's a local business owner here in Preston, Idaho. His name's Ron Smaley. We came up with this idea on the golf course one day, and and then uh, Doug Raymond, who's a local uh, construction worker and uh, the owner of Raymond Construction, we all decided that Preston, we need a good restaurant up in Preston where everyone up here could come and eat, and uh, and so that's what we did. Very close location to where you spent four of the best years of your life in Logan, Utah. We're just, uh, what, about 25 miles down the road from Logan. Yeah, just a, just a short 25 miles uh, north of Logan, and it's really a great drive, and it's really not, not too tough to get up here. And by the way, I enjoyed my meal here 100%. Had some uh, bacon-wrapped shrimp and scallops as an appetizer, and then the JC three-point burger. Thumbs up on that one. Yeah. I agree. Our chef Scott Northridge has done a great job. He really has a great menu with a lot of, a lot of good products, a lot of, a lot of variety. Uh, we do serve steak, seafood, and pasta, and there's there's something for everyone once you come up here. Uh, we have burgers to to meat and potatoes, and but also a lot fancier things. Uh, the one thing that's really special about uh, Scott as a chef is he makes everything from scratch from uh, our ketchups, our salsas, everything we use it comes from scratch. We make our own hamburger up here and so we have great burgers and as you mentioned the JC Three Pointers is one of my favorites that I, I do come up here and get. Absolutely delicious. When we look at this decor, I don't know how much of this was done when it was the previous owners, but I know Bailey and, and some of the other partners' wives kind of came in and uh, just absolutely beautiful. I told you, very calming on the senses. Yeah, it really is. Our wives did a really good job of decorating, of styling the place, and making it a nice retreat up here in Preston, Idaho, for where we can go and enjoy a lunch or dinner, uh, you know, a night out with friends, or even a little more night with a special special friend on a date or a night out with your wife open uh, monday through saturday we're looking off we're right in your entry area a bustling little crowd here for lunchtime on a friday afternoon but uh, also uh you've got the private banquet room there that the rotary club meets and that's available like for christmas parties uh any kind of get together you actually have a funeral group coming in today yeah it's you know we, we kind of call it the jc sports room because you can also watch uh, basketball games football games whatever the the main sporting event is that night we'll have utah state games if preston gets some basketball football teams from their high school on well you can come in and watch them there but it really is a nice little area where we can shut the doors and you can be up here with your family for christmas parties for whatever whatever it may be as, as you mentioned we have a funeral party coming up today to enjoy lunch and it's just a great place with great food and great service Acid stained concrete, another part of the decor it looks like in the dining room, and then a lot of stone incorporated in both the floor and uh, in, in the restaurant portion kind of uh, as the walls. Yeah, we think it gives a very nice look. When we came in, we had to retile and do some things like that, and it just turned out great. I love the way the stone looks. I like the dark colored woods we use. It's just really a nice place, kind of maybe even unexpected to find up here in Preston, Idaho. Again, just there are so many outlying little smaller communities that populate the area, but just a really a short drive from from anywhere. Great place to come for a date, and all the recreational opportunities abound here as well. Yeah, I live up here, and I've been up here for the last four or five, six years since I got back from my mission. But I'm always impressed as I drive up here how pretty the mountains look, the scenery, and just how nice of a place this really is up here. So if you're in Logan, if you're an outlying community, it, it's really a, a nice place to get away. And, and go go someplace nice with your family or your wife and, and enjoy a kind of a night out with them. You were mentioning that you and your partner saw a need here for this style of dining in Preston, and now you've brought it to Preston. Yeah, we feel like we've accomplished our goal. Uh, Preston Idaho had some good dining choices, but it was kind of missing this type of kind of upscale food, but at a small town price. And with this ambiance we have here, this the setting is it's just really nice. We're, we're happy with what we've done, and we hope that this can be a part of Preston Idol for, for many years to come. Maybe we'll just close this out. We'll get away from the restaurant just for a little bit. You don't have much longer to be stateside. You've been back here. I uh, played a little bit of NBA Summer League, as you've done the last couple of years, but it's back to where you came from last. Yeah, this summer I had a great summer playing basketball with different NBA teams. I had a great run with Boston down in Orlando Summer League, and I played great, had a good showing for myself, and I did nothing but help my NBA chances from here into the future. 
I later went to Vegas and with the New York Knicks. And again, went great. I, I got less playing time, uh, less opportunity to, to really shine. But when I was on the court, I, again, I did well. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, it's it's a good thing and, and a bad thing. I, I didn't get on an NBA squad, but I have a great opportunity to go play in the top league in Europe, second best league in the world, Spain, for a great team in Gran Canaria. And I look forward to it. It's, it's really a great place to be. That island living has uh, done you justice. It looks good on you. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, a little more relaxed. I definitely have a, a pretty sweet tan at this point. <laughs> What's the difference uh, between the fans that you noticed in your college career and those that are from you know, European teams? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm re- I was really lucky. I went to, to Utah State where the fans are already crazy. But in Europe, they're just as crazy but with fewer rules. In Italy, in Italy especially, we get bottles thrown on the floor at the refs, uh, at us, and papers thrown on the court, all kinds of different things like that. Um, Spain is a little more kind of the, the style of fans that, that we're used to in the U.S. You know, there's no throwing of paper and bottles. <laughs> but um, they don't have any rules as far as bullhorns and, and whistles and bells that they can have. So there's there's constant background noise from whistles. And many times you don't even know when, when it's the referee or the crowd. You mentioned the difference between the Italian league and the Spanish league. This will be your second year back in, in the latter. You, you led both leagues in scoring, however. Or clo- I, I was close. I was top five in Italy, and, and that was great. Playing that well in Italy is, is what gave me the opportunity to go to Spain. In Spain, I did. I led the entire league in scoring my first year in the league. I'm not sure if that's ever been done before, but I was, I was a big surprise for everyone in the league. They didn't expect me to be able to play that well. Again, I was lucky. I had a good coach that trusted me, gave me the ball, gave me the opportunity to play. And that's all you can really ask for when you go to a team anywhere in the world is, is a coach that will trust you and, and let you play. Of course, on your mission, you, you picked up some foreign languages, and, and maybe Italian and Spanish are kind of close. But uh, how have those barriers been for Bailey and, and you? In Italy, it was tough, especially at first. Uh, as you mentioned, I do speak Spanish, and Italian is very similar. So by the end of it, I got around pretty well. I could ask for, for food and directions and those sort of things. And honestly, Bailey does pretty well as as well. She studies a little bit, and she could go to the grocery store and ask for where the fruits and vegetables she wants. And also, same thing, get, get directions. We like it. We like the challenge of a different language. Uh, my daughter, who was about 10 months old when we went to Spain, uh, she actually understands Spanish perfectly. If you if you ask her to get something in Spanish, she'll go get it. If you ask her in English, she'll go get it. She'll be multilingual. Uh, she There's a good chance she's multilingual, and uh, we hope so. We're going to try and uh, push that on her. Thanks for uh, some time today. Uh, good luck again this year. We'll try to follow you as much as we can. Uh, thanks. Thanks for coming up and, uh, and having lunch with me. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. Thanks, JC. Thank you.